blah, 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 words, 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 metal. Oh, anyway, sorry, I didn't know you guys were listening to that. Uh, anyway, back again for another Star Wars Eternal podcast, recapping the reviews of the week, and uh, looking forward to some other stuff coming up. Uh, this week was a pretty great week, uh, kinda. Now we've we've talked about you know the the giants of the Death Doom genre, Draconian, Swallow the Sun, how they're all uh, kind of laying quietly in the shadows. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, you know, we had Soliloquium, who really blew us away with what they were doing. And this week, we actually have a band from within the United States, from Austin, Texas, called Sleepwalkers. Uh, Two man band, one man instrumental, one man vocal. And they absolutely fucking killed it. And this being their uh, their first EP or album, whichever you want to consider it, Hollow Path, uh, that's that says a lot. Uh, I mean, the the vocals are absolutely fucking awesome. And uh, Caleb Bergen does the the vocal track, uh, while Mike Watts takes care of all the instrumentals. And the balance they have is actually really really impressive, especially for this earlier in their career. They've really done something pretty special here. Uh, you know, there isn't much more I can say about it other than you really should check it out. Uh, that'll be on their Bandcamp page, sleepwalkersband.bandcamp.com and make sure you go give them a like on Facebook too. It's facebook.com slash sleepwalkersdoom because if you like anything in the death doom genre, you're sure to find something you like here. Um, the same could be said, not exactly death doom, but in the kind of airy space rock uh, sub-genre, you can find a band from Berlin, Germany, called Nimronaut, and they just put out a new EP, which is just called EP, and it's, the music is great, I mean, it's it's absolutely awesome, I, I'm really impressed with what they did, but I think that the the thing that stands out most is that, you know, they came together just having some drinks, and hey guys, let's start a band, okay, <laughs> it's just that easy. Um, you know, whatever reason bands get together, you know, that's obviously their own reasoning and we have no say in that, but there's something about, you know, people just getting together and doing it for the love of the music that makes it that much more, uh, profound. So they do a really good job. It's, it's kind of this post rock space. Uh, it, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to really nail down what, what vein we're really in here, but I mean, there's some really great sludge riffs in there. Just check out the EP. Uh, you can kind of decide for yourself. That's nimronaut.bandcamp.com. Kind of like astronaut, but but with a nim. Uh, and also facebook.com slash nimronaut. Uh, and again, make sure you support these guys. Uh, you know, give them a couple bucks for the EP. Give them a like on Facebook. Give them some recognition for what they do <clears throat> to make sure that they can continue to do this. Um, now, the week took a, a really interesting turn. Uh, Brian's review this week, he was uh, pretty excited to jump on the new album by the band Tristania, uh, a band that he and I actually both really like, uh, particularly their older stuff. Um, but this new album, Darkest White, uh, we were trying to figure out how many original members are actually still left, and we can't seem to nail it down. And I'm not interested enough to actually look it up, because this album has kind of pushed me away from them at this point. Uh, it's very generic, very bland, very average. There really isn't a whole lot going on that, that you really need to listen to here. Um, I mean, there, there's a couple good songs, uh, Cypher and Arteries, which are, you know, they're good. But, you know, it's it's tough to get through the album because it's very one note. And I don't mean monotone. I mean, like, it, it, there's just no highs and lows. I mean, give the album a listen. It's called Darkest White. Uh, maybe you'll dig it more than we did. Uh, now... What I love here is when uh, bands see reviews that we've done, and then you know they want to submit their stuff. And believe it or not, uh, for a you know small website with basically you know two uh, people doing it at this point, uh, we get a lot of submissions every week. So it's hard to sift through them all. Though we do our best. Uh, this week I got a great submission from a band called Extenia, uh, which is I I didn't really know what I was getting into here, and I think that the analogy that I came up with I was pretty proud of is, you know, the movie Twins with Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that's basically the talent pool in metal. Some people are the Schwarzeneggers, strong, talented, uh, visionaries, and then you get the Danny DeVito's bands that are just doing the same old thing just because. Uh, this is definitely the former. 
some really great guitars here, which I think was the standout of the album. Uh, and these guys are only six months into their time together. Six months. And when you hear what they're doing, it's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, you can actually check out some, some of the songs on their YouTube page. Uh, give them a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash Xthenia. And I, I think that you should probably add this Dominate the Wind EP to your rotation uh, when you get your hands on it because you're probably going to dig it a whole fucking lot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the guitar playing alone is, is worth listening to. And, you know, they're doing it themselves, which is even better. Uh, the week ended on a, a very high note. And uh, it's, it's tough sometimes to separate, you know, the bands that we like from, you know, trying to do uh, objective reviews, despite the fact there really is no such thing as an objective review, because there's no clear-cut definition of good and bad. Uh, but when the new North Song album came our way, um, I, I, I'm not going to lie and say that, you know, it was... It was uh, it was ever in doubt. I knew I was going to like it. I, I, Cortland Runyon is doing great things here, and uh, his first his first EP, uh, Justin had actually reviewed, was that almost two years ago now, and we were kind of hooked on it then. Uh, he, along with people like Dan Klein, uh, really asserted the fact that one-man bands can really be something special. Uh, so he has a new album called The Final Journey, and you know it better not be The Final Journey, but that's what it's called, so, so be it. And uh, you, you really don't have anything to be disappointed in here. Uh, there's a couple, a couple uh, production woes that are scattered throughout, but barely noticeable in the in the course of the album. But you get a whole lot of different things going on here. Uh, and one thing that I didn't know listening to it, which I found out later, is that uh, Christopher Brown from Vile I Chaos uh, actually does uh, the cello work in the first track, which. <laughs> is awesome. It sounds really good. I know they have a, a split coming up that uh, we're very excited about. But that just kind of kicks off the album in the best possible way. And Runyon really does a great job here. I mean, he his lyrics are great. He's doing a great job keeping things balanced. Uh, I mean, there's just there's a lot going on. And this is this perfect blend of like folk and Viking and almost melodic death with some black metal type vocals in there. It's it's pretty incredible. Uh, he's just reasserted the fact that, you know, he is he's not even reached his prime yet. He's well on his way, though. So when you get a chance to check out The Final Journey, uh, that's also on his Bandcamp page, northsong.bandcamp.com or facebook.com slash northsong. Uh, if you haven't heard what he's doing yet, you know, now would be the perfect time to do that uh, because you're really going to like this album. And I'm not, you know, making you like it, but I'm saying you probably will. And just as you get through the album... One thing I want to point out is that it's great that he sets the album up on this beautiful tempo and a lot of great, you know, orchestral type stuff, symphonics going on. And then you get to the song Trolls, which is like the complete opposite of everything else. It's like, it's short, it's screaming, and it's quick. And it's, it's pretty fucking great. Uh, so definitely check out the album The Final Journey by North Song. Uh, and that was really the week. I mean, again, it's been a really strong couple weeks. We're, we're seeing a lot of really great albums. Uh, and this coming week's going to be no exception. Uh, we have a, an album by a band called Aether Fallen, which I think is going to be the one, the more uh, divisive album of the week. I think it's going to divide people with, with their opinions of you know, what they're doing. It's a great story album. Um, so we have that. We have a band called Duel. Uh, we have Slee Stack, their new EP, which uh, was a surprise to me. And a new album by the band Thonic, uh, which, you know, that's another band that just, they, they fucking kill it every time. A um, couple things to note, though. Uh, the following week, you will have an album. It actually will be, the review will go up the day before the North American release. It's already out in Europe. Uh, it's Bruce Sword with Jonas Rentz. Uh, now, you know that name, lead singer of Catatonia. Uh, he did a collaboration album with uh, a guy who's in the band The Pineapple Thief. The name of the album is Wisdom of Crowds, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to giving that review to you, and I thought about bumping it up to this coming week, but I decided to keep it right around the release. But you guys are going to, if you like Catatonia, if you like Catatonia vocals, then you should check this album out. It's it's not Catatonia by any means, um, but it's awesome. So we got a lot of great things coming in the next couple, couple weeks here. Uh, did notice a couple things. 
the archives have not updated properly. We're going to get that fixed so you guys can go back and check out all the reviews over the last uh, two years or so. Uh, and the Band of the Month apparently hasn't actually updated as scheduled uh, for a little while. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't look at the main site all that often. I'm, you know, kind of looking at the, 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 the coding of it uh, more than anything else. So I'll have to get all that updated. So don't worry. There will be more uh, as long as, as well as a couple interviews. And we got a lot more coming up. Obviously, as I've mentioned the last couple of weeks, the top 10 lists are rolling in. So be ready for that. Uh, so another week gone by, another week yet to come. Uh, keep submitting your, your bands and your albums for us to check out. We are more than happy to do so. Uh, when you do it, feel free. You can send it to us on Facebook at this point. I checked that enough. Um, or you can email us, sourreturnalblog at gmail.com. Uh, just make sure you include a link to download or listen to the album. You don't need to submit anything physical. It's, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Save the money on postage and what have you. Um, so, you know, just uh, shoot us a link and we'll, we'll check it out the best we can. We do try to keep up. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get to just about everything in there uh, and we'll get it up as soon as possible. So, uh, in the meantime, guys, have a great week. Keep checking the site for all these fucking great reviews and we will catch you guys later.